Here's five twenty sided dice. Today we'll only be using one. Here we have a website for lottery books. Here we have a website for dice. You can roll dice at this website. Here is a blog site for Kindle books, and there's like lottery books as well as other books out there. And we're going to discuss Jimmy the Swede's lottery methods and systems. We're going to use the dice roll method and system today using 20 sided dice. We'll use one 20 sided dice today. We will have, use Powerball as the lottery example when using the dice roll chart. There are six numbers that are picked each draw of Powerball. The sixth number is the power or bonus ball. Every ball or number drawn will have a position. And we'll call these positions position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4, position 5, and then the bonus ball is going to be position 6. In the dice roll chart, we will have six columns. Each column represents each position of the number drawn that day. For an example, 2, 4, 6, 12, 56, and we'll say the bonus ball number is 25. 2 would be position 1. 4 would be position 2. 2 is 1. 4 is position number 2. 6 would be position number 3. 12 would be position number 4. And 56 would be position number 5. Now the 25, our bonus number, will be in position number 6. Sample draw number 2, 4, 6, 12, 56, bonus 25. Column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5, column 6. This would be position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4, position 5, and position 6. For the dice roll chart, we have used 100 draws. Uh, some people like using 10 or 15 draws to keep it close to the update. But 100 draws, I like using that. It gives you enough numbers to uh, get uh, statistics out of and the separated the, then we separated the draw numbers as shown and have put them higher frequency numbers on that chart. So for column 1 or position 1, we have taken all the numbers for draws of the 100 past draws for the position 1 and put them and figured the statistics for them. And position 2 or column 2, we have put all the numbers for the 100 draws in that position and figured the frequency of those numbers out all the way up and even into the position 6. So when you roll your 20 sided dice you will be rolling for numbers that have shown up in the columns or positions associated that we have placed in there. Each column is numbered 1 to 20 Thus, we have a 20-sided dice. <clears throat> and when you roll your 20-sided dice, it will land on a number between 1 and 20. That number will have a draw number next to it, or a play number. Write down that number and repeat for each column or position number. When you have six numbers written down, look at them and write them down in numerical order, or however you want to do it and then transfer it to the play slip. Once you have these numbers in order, you will have six numbers. The bonus ball will be not necessarily in order. Uh, 
Nothing is guaranteed in life, especially when gambling. That is why we call it gambling. Professional gamblers play the odds, meaning the, the more likelihood of a number coming up is what they want to play, so they, they don't play for the big long shot. Sometimes they do have the long shot put in there with one of the other numbers, but they don't put all their eggs or all their money into the long shots. Only a little bit of it, in case there is a long shot comes does come in once in a while. There are many ways of playing the odds. Here's dice roll chart for the 20-sided dice. Position 1. Here you have 1 to 20. This is the dice roll side. You roll the dice. It comes up like 10. You come over 10. And it's 10. So 10 equals 10 here. And this is called the play number or draw number that we're going to put down for position 1 or column 1. And here's a closer look. This is dice roll chart 20 sided for position 2. Again, dice roll column 1 to 20. We roll the dice and let's say we get 5, we come over here and it's 17. That's the play number. We write down 17 to play. It's the play number that we're going for. We roll the dice, 1 to 20, and then we have the play number. Okay? We go from whatever number comes up on the dice to the number that we want to play. Here's the dice roll chart, 20 sided for position 3. Dice roll number. We roll the dice, get have a 7, we come over from 7, and we write down 30, because that's the play number. These numbers are the higher frequency, or the ones that are likely to come up in the last 100 draws. Here is a closer view. This is dice roll chart, 20 sided, for position number 4. Again, your dice roll column, 1 to 20. You roll the dice, you have 4, you go across, there's 40. So you put down 40 for your play number. This is the play number column. Play number column, these are the statistical better numbers, and they're strategically placed there. Here's a closer look. Dice roll chart, 20 sided, position 5. Dice roll column, roll the dice, roll and get a 15, you come over here, and the play number is 54. This is the play number right here. And a little closer look. Dice roll chart, 20 sided. This is the bonus position, or position 6. Dice roll column. You roll the dice. The 7, let's say, you come up with. We come across. The play number is 7. So, for the bonus number, you put down 7. This is the play number. And for this one here, it's the bonus play number. And a closer look. Again, we have a website for the lottery books. We have a website for rolling dice if you don't have any dice. And there's a blog site for Kindle books. They have lottery books as well as many thousands others.